Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add the Blossom plugin to Blender so that you can import Google 3D tiles into Blender without the need of an older version of Blender and without RenderDoc. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So we need to download the Blossom for Blender plugin. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go directly to this page. Credit goes out to the folks who put this plugin together. It's just an amazing tool and by all means, if you could support them, please put in a, a price right here. Um, no, it, it is free, so you could just put zero if um, that's what you choose. Um, I've downloaded it already, so I'm gonna put zero and you click this button, I want this. This is like a little checkout here and whatever dollar amount you put in, it will total that right here. Put in a valid email address and click on get and then you'll have the download. So let's open up Blender and unlike uh, a previous video I did, we need a certain version of Blender, a certain version of RenderDoc, but not in this case, we do not need that. I'm using Blender 4.0 the latest at this at this time. Um, yeah, so it's just a wonderful plugin, so we don't need render doc. So let's go and add that um, that plugin. If we go to edit and go down to preferences, click on install and direct to your downloads file folder and it will say blossom.zip. Um, yeah, definitely don't unzip the file when it downloads. Just leave it zipped and we select that and we import it. Now if we scroll down, this is the newly installed Blossom plugin. If we click on this arrow, it expands out and we have some preferences we could um, update. And one is the, direct the directory to store the downloaded uh, files and you can certainly click on this little file folder and direct it to wherever you'd like to go. I'm just going to leave it as the default. For OpenStreetMap, you do not need an access token. Um, you can just simply just uh, use OSM to get like that vector um, imagery. Um, but to use the Google 3D tiles, you do need a, an API key. If you don't have one, uh, you could just go ahead and click this get it button and it'll direct you right to uh, Google Google Cloud basically. And if you don't have an account, you do need to set one up. It's free to set up. Um, I have a Gmail account, so I'm just using that. Uh, for this uh, access token, you have three months of free, of like a free trial. And that's what I'm using right now. I'm not sure how much it is beyond that. But I already went through the steps of creating that and you do put in a credit card or debit card. Uh, you won't be charged until after that 30, uh, excuse me, that 90 day period. Um, again, I'm not sure how much it is after that, but that is one of the caveats here. Um, and you can watch this little video. It goes into it a little bit more in detail. Um, and you could click onto this get credential page to get started as well. Again, I already have my setup. And once you put in your billing information, um, you know, set up the account, you should have a, a screen like this, you know, Google Cloud, and you click on credentials. So what you want to do is now create credentials. So you click onto this button right here, and we want an API key. You just take a moment and it's going to generate that API key. Okay, I'm going to copy that and I'll close out the window. Now, this is very important. We have to click on this Enable APIs and Services button. And then we click up here, Enable APIs and Services. And under Maps, right here, we're going to view all 23 items and click on this Map Tiles API and click on Enable. Now, if you don't do that, you will get an error such as this. 
So be sure you enable that. Okay, and it's going to ask for the billing account name that we have set up for that trial. I selected that. Go and say set account. Okay, so let's go back to Blender. And if you haven't already, go ahead and put in that API key right here and go ahead and close. And we could remove that box here. Okay, so you don't really see it here, but there's a little arrow right here pointing to the left. Right there. It's really small, but if you click onto that, it expands out this little toolbox and you can see the blossom tab right here. So go and click onto that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is change in the drop down here from OpenStreetMap to Google 3D Tiles. Now, the level of detail, we want to do buildings with more detail. As you can see, these different levels of detail are down here are more detailed opposed to districts, whole cities, etc. So, the further down here, the more detail it is. And and if we click the select button, a new window opens up. And from here, we could zoom in on our area. We could also change the base map. I'm going to do satellite view. And I'm going to zoom in here on an area in Florida, which you're kind of happy with the extent. We click this blue button here on the left side, show selection rectangle, and we could kind of fine tune our area of interest. Remember, keep it, um, keep the area small at first because the larger the area, the more time it takes to process. And you could just experiment from there. So once you're done, click on copy. It says it was successful. And we'll go back to Blender and click right here, paste. When I did that, my extent changed. And now let's click on import. And again, depend on the selection area, um, the processing time will, will vary, but generally about a minute or so for, for something I just did. So let's just give that a moment for it to process. Okay, so that was more like three minutes or so to import. So let's go and click over here and see how it looks. Yeah, so definitely a lot of detail. Um, Again, this is just an amazing plugin to get 3D tiles from Google into Blender without having to use different versions of Blender or RenderDoc. So anyway, I hope you guys found this useful. If you guys have any questions or comments along the way, please leave those down below in the description. I greatly appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I do try to put out a video once a week. And if you're already subscribed, I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.